Well, we're going to talk about this here. The state of Utah. Bigamy is no longer considered a felony. What took place here? What happened? Why is this even going on? I got a full breakdown coming for you guys. Stick with me. First, if you can, do me a big favor. Give this video a like. Let's try to get the likes way up here in this video if we could do that. Share this video across all of your platforms. Help me to beat the YouTube algorithms. Subscribe if you're brand new here to the channel. And if you enjoy my daily video content here, would you consider sponsoring my ministry for $5 a month or more? It goes a long way, especially with all the demonetization of these videos. Now, you guys could help throw a couple bucks my way going over to patreon.com slash conservative truth. You can check that pretty link. It's right down there in the description. It takes you right there. Only a couple seconds to sign up. Not only does it help me out, you throw a few dollars my way, but you get my exclusive bonus content content as well. All my different podcasts over there where I talk more about sensitive information. It really helps me out a great deal. Plus, I think you guys will really enjoy that content over there as well. Plus, it helps a blind fat guy out. So help a blind fat guy out, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for that. But Utah, as of May 13th, Tuesday, May 13th, bigamy no longer considered a felony in the state of Utah. It's essentially been decriminalized is what it's been. It's now on par with a, a basic traffic violation. Now, beforehand, this was considered a third-degree felony in the state of Utah. It was punishable up to five years in prison with a $5,000 fine. No longer, though. No longer the case. Bigamy, of course, you know, is when two people uh, who are getting married, one of them, which is already legally married to somebody else, they can come together. And now... All of that has now changed. It was signed into law actually back in March, but it didn't take effect until 13th of May by Governor Gary Herbert there in Utah. So a lot of people react to this. Some people very happy about it. Some people not so happy about that. Here's the bottom line. Marriage should be between one man and one woman. Not multiple partners, not multiple people, none of that, okay? That's the bottom line here. So why do we see these things take place? Because we're living in the last days. What does that mean? Well, we're in the end times. We're getting close to the return of Jesus Christ. The Bible talks about a great falling away that would come, where we would call evil good and good evil. We would basically take what the Word of God says and completely flip it upside down, do the complete opposite of what it says. The Bible says that men's hearts would be fixated upon evil continually. The love of many will wax cold. We are seeing all these things take place now. Okay, so watch this when people champion this and they cheer this and they celebrate this, you know the times that we're living in. I'll put more information on this in the description. You guys can let me know your thoughts in the comment section if you would like to do that as well. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.